Hi traders, welcome back to our channel. If you are trading or investing, then you might have heard a word called backtesting. You might have backtested many strategies in order to know how it exactly worked in the past with the historical data. But there is a thing, backtesting can be a little bit risky if it is done wrong. It can give you a false hope and mess up your results. So today in this video, we are going to see the top 5 backtesting mistakes that you should avoid to improve your trading strategies and make a better decision. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Overfitting your strategy Overfitting your strategy can happen when you specifically adjust your trades based on the past performance. It may be really working well with the past data as you might have adjusted based on those historical data. But in real time, this won't happen. The key to avoid this overfitting your strategies can be avoided only when you keep your strategy too simple. Instead of focusing on adjusting your strategy, just focus on creating a strategy that works exactly well in the market condition. Let's say if you are going to take a moving crossover strategy, instead of adjusting its lens to match exactly to the past historical data, just focus on creating its simple with the same parameters and execute based on the different time frames. Ignoring transaction cost and slippage. When you are backtesting a strategy, it is really easy to forget about the real world cost of trading like commission, spreads or slippage, the difference between the execution price and the actual price. So always include your transaction cost and slippage while you are going to backtest a strategy. This will help you to give a realistic picture of your trading strategy. Include at least 0.5% as your slippage in your backtested results. And if it is still in profitable after accounting all those pieces, then go for that strategy. Using inaccurate or poor quality data. The data that you use for backtesting is so crucial. If your historical data is inaccurate or incomplete, then the results of backtesting will be a misleading. Use a reliable data provider that includes all these adjustments and provide you a accurate data. Not considering your market condition? Backtesting a strategy for a particular market condition will give you an unrealistic performance. Always test your strategy on different market conditions like bull market, bear market and sideways market. This will help you to understand how it reacts on different market conditions and adapt to that changes. Let's say if you are going to use a moving crossover strategy on both bull market and bear market. In bull market the performance could be a good one but in bear market it mm. may struggle. Not using a proper risk management plan. One of the biggest mistakes that all traders is do is not including their risk management plan on their backtested results. A strategy might give you a good result on paper trading. But if you are risking too much on each trade, a single trade will wipe out all your gains. So incorporate risk management rules like stop loss order, position slicing in your backtesting. By this way, if you encounter continuous losing streak, your overall profit remains protected and you can live to trade on another day. So these are the 5 biggest mistakes that you do while you are backtesting your strategy. Hope this video finds useful for you. For more such videos and updates, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. This video is just for education and trading purpose. Our motive is to make you a better trader. Trading and investing involve substantial risk and are not suitable for every investor.